Let's focus in for a minute on problems in the first quadrant of polar coordinates. And again, that first quadrant is positive x and y values and angles between 0 and 90 degrees. So the first thing we have to remember is if we're given our coordinates in x and y, it's only in the first quadrant if both of those values are positive. Similarly, it has to have an angle between 0 and 90 degrees if it's going to be in the first quadrant. Now this also helps us because if you're given positive x and y values, you know it must be between 0 and 90 degrees. And if you're given values between 0 and 90 degrees, you know you must have a positive x and y axis. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say we were given a value of x equals 3 and y equals 4. It doesn't have to be integer values. These are just the ones we're using in this particular case. First thing I want you to take a look at is that the x value is smaller than the y value. When that's true, we know we're going to have a value above 45 degrees. We've got more y than we've got x, so it's closer to the y-axis. If I had flipped this around, which we'll do here in a minute, we'd see that we'd have a value less than 45 degrees. Now, if you're given your x and y values, finding your angle is actually fairly simple. When we look at our regular triangle, as it's almost always written in problems, it gives us an example in the first quadrant. If we have our x and y and our r value, we've got tangent of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, and so that's y over a value of x. Now if I plug that into my calculator, depending on the area your calculator is, we've got to figure out what it is that we're solving for. If I'm solving for theta, then I need to do the inverse tangent of y over x. On my particular calculator, there's a tangent button, and then there's a second function, and the inverse tangent is right above it. So if I push my inverse tangent, and I need to use parentheses now, I put my value of y over my value of x. So for this particular problem, that's going to be 4 divided by 3. Close my parentheses, hit Enter. So that gives me a value of 53.13 degrees. And again, it's what we predicted. It's between 45 and 90 degrees. Now I want to point out to you when you're doing this, you could actually figure out what is 4 divided by 3 first. and put that number in. So we have the inverse tangent of 1.33. And again, that gives me the same value. Notice, though, because of my rounding, it comes off just a little bit different, but it's still round to 53.1 degrees. If you're working in the first quadrant, that inverse tangent, your calculator gives you an angle, should be the right angle. Now again, if I was going to do just one more quick example, let's say I have an x value of 5 and a y value of 2. Inverse tangent. Two over five and the inverse tangent of 2 divided by 5 is going to give me 21.8 degrees. That's your first quadrant angles.